Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 187 on our round the world trip. We are here in the small town of Sacarema, which is about 80 miles along the coast from Rio in Brazil. And we're here in this beautiful little campsite. Today we wanted to show you guys everything that we are wearing and everything that we are taking with us on the motorbike, basically everything you need for a round the world motorcycle trip. So we're starting with my outfit. I'm wearing a very nice Magna jacket. It's like summer comfort, but still very hot. <laughs> to make the outfit complete, I have a Magna trouser, same color, same sort of design. My glove brand is IXS, and they've been all right, but here's a little hole already inside, <laughs> which is quite useful as well when I'm on my phone, because then <laughs> My thumb is free to use my phone, my touch screen. <laughs> and my boots, O'Neill, very protective, very good. Saved already my ankle a few times. Wait, 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 oh <laughs> So I have a LS2 helmet. It was the only helmet uh, which actually fitted on my head quite nicely. It's kit size, cost about 60 pounds. Okay, so my outfit is an Oxford jacket. It's also quite a summer one, but still not quite cool enough. <laughs> and that has a non-matching set of trousers. Uh, I actually wanted to have a matching set actually in this color, which is like the desert color range, because we went to the desert, so I needed the desert clothes. But uh, actually they only had this color in stock in the store so oxford if you're watching this and want to donate me the matching jacket for this one then i would really appreciate it my gloves are also oxford gloves and um they're like the most summer ones i think pretty much that you can get while still having the knuckle protection and the leather front so yep these boots are by the brand former and they are just amazingly comfortable. They're a little bit less protective uh, than the ones that Lavi has, which are proper like motocross boots. But uh, these ones are super comfortable and still really long and really protective and have been great so far. My helmet is the Carberg Duke 2, which has the flip up face front, which is awesome. My brand new visor, which I've just installed. This is also quite an inexpensive helmet, but it does the job and it's pretty comfortable. We were actually donated a new set of intercoms because our previous set of intercoms that we used for the whole of Europe and the whole of Africa were getting worse and worse and worse. They were pretty cheap from Amazon and uh, yeah, they really couldn't cut the mustard. So our new intercom was donated by a company called Fod Sports and it's the FX8 Air and so far it's been really good for us but we will have to see how it fares in the long term but at the moment it's pretty good if you're interested in how we record our audio and our whole video and audio setup then we actually have another video that we recorded before we even started the trip i'm going to link that one in the description but that includes our entire filming and audio setup so if you're interested in that check that one out below in the description by the way, if you are interested in grabbing one of these intercoms or any FOD Sports intercom, then you can head to fodsports.com and if you use promo code LAVI and OLLI, you can have 12% off. The link is in the description. And now onto the motorcycle. <laughs> We actually added these duffel bags. These are our two newest items and they are very, very useful. So I will show you now what's inside. In this duffel bag, we have normally our tent stored. 
but the tent is already over there because uh, <laughs> we're staying here overnight. So in this duffel bag, we have our toiletries bag, toothbrush, a, a bar of soap. Then we have one deodorant, like a crystal one, which is um, really useful and lasts for a long, long time. So I can really recommend that. <laughs> this one here, uh, I explain later what that is. Then we have uh, camel bags, which we can fill up with water up to two liters, which gives us then four liters of water we can carry around. One of our newest and best items ever is a water filter. So we don't need to buy any water bottles anymore. It doesn't matter uh, where we are. We can just uh, get water, put it in a, a water bottle, screw the water bottle on here and then get fresh water. Amazing. Yeah, it really saves us a lot of money and a lot of hustle and it's just amazing. I would recommend this to every traveler. Then we have our waterproof trouser, waterproof uh, jacket. We stuffed it into these waterproof uh, gloves. <laughs> double purpose. Yeah, double purpose, yeah. <laughs> and then I have like a, just a little bag which I can use when we are out and about. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> There's always like my wallet and a power bank, which is always useful. Here in the second pocket, very useful. We're keeping our blanket for Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> the Oxford motorbike cover. I really can recommend this as well because it keeps the bike nice and clean and as well a little bit more camouflage. So the duffel bag is normally not made for this purpose. We had to repurpose it a little bit and we put some, some clips here. So we're just clipping this here on and here. In this Endurostan soft pannier bag, we keep normally our sleeping stuff, sleeping bag, sleeping mats, but all of this stuff is uh, at the moment inside the tent. We have still another really cool thing inside here. <laughs> I know you think probably like what the hell but it's a little half a liter kettle and it saved us already a few times because you can heat up your uh, noodles you can drink some coffee or some tea it's very very useful <laughs> toilet paper <laughs> and then we have our kitchen inside here one of my favorite is this uh, seat to summit pot because the good thing is you can extend it like this and then it, up, to, up to two liters fits inside. You can boil up pasta, whatever. Yes, really good. <laughs> and then otherwise we have just like our cups, spork, and as well a foldable tupper. And this here is our small cooker. It's a two part cooker. We have the top bit and this one here is the bottom bit. We screw it on, we use gas here and then we can cook. So this is everything here from the left side. Here in the middle, we have attached to a sit mat and our beloved parasol. I forgot to mention this thing here. This is our wind shield when we're cooking. It's made by ourselves. You just put it around the cooker and then it's a very good protection uh, from the wind. We actually made this piece, let's say, uh, I think four years ago. <laughs> from a baking tray. From a baking tray. <laughs> Pretty good. So now I'm gonna show you what's in the right side. <laughs> Again, our really nice duffel bag. What is inside? <laughs> Food! Yes, so this is our food bag here. And we decided now to make like little bags for every different type of uh, meal. We have um, breakfast here. Here's like some uh, fruits, our herbs bag. Couscous, beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then here in this pocket, we just have our snacks. What we are so eating during the day on the bike. So inside here, we're having our clothes, which we're keeping in a, a Sea to Summit waterproof bag. 
It's very useful because you can compress it a little bit. Normally, I have one bag full of clothes and Oli has one bag. <laughs> <laughs> And there is really just the essentials inside. We have uh, one fleece, we have one jacket, then one long trousers, two pair of socks, three underwear, and then our riding t-shirts, our Overlander t-shirt, and I got two dresses <laughs> now. <laughs> so, and otherwise it's just Another flip-flops because like you know we are just having these shoes and then flip-flops is quite useful when you have a shower or something um, just to keep your feet nice and clean and this is our gas we are cooking with our shaver and last but not least chain oil and chain cleaner WD-40 <laughs> So that's from the right side here and Oli will show you what is inside here and what is inside there. So we have a Givi top box which I stole from my dad's motorcycle and on that we installed our wonderful little Brazilian flag. And inside here is where we keep all our filming equipment and electronics. So we've got our drones. We've got a bunch of chargers and cables in this bag. We've got our old Nikon camera, our Nikon D3400 with a bunch of different lenses for it to get those amazing close-ups. We've got our laptop, our editing suite. Without this, we would be able to make no videos. And a box with our drives and all other sort of spare electronic bits and bobs. We also keep in here our documentation. So this includes our passports, the vehicle documents, temporary imports for countries, basically everything that we need to cross borders or if we get stopped by the police. So basically most of the important stuff goes in this box because this box is lockable and it's locked to the bike and we can easily sort of take it off the bike and carry it with us when we stop. So everything remains safe. to the final part of our luggage system, the tank bag. So this is another Endurastan piece of kit. So we've got the two side panniers and the tank bag, which are Endurastan. And on the top of this one, we've actually got our route around the world. So this is in case we uh, forget which way we're gonna go. And then we just follow the line here. And it's easy as that. Inside here we've got a bunch of stuff which basically won't fit anywhere else or doesn't have another place to go but it's a really easy to access place so we put some useful stuff in here. So we've got the medical kit with a bunch of paracetamol and bandages and all kinds of useful medical stuff. We've got a bag which is full of useless or useful stuff we often don't really know uh, but it's got like stuff like tape in it and super glue patches for our sleeping mats a pole sheath in case we break one of the poles in the tent uh, cable ties yeah basically anything that we might need to repair things with or whatever we've also got some sunscreen We've got this uh, little book, which is quite interesting. It's called Picture Talk, and it basically has a load of different images. And it's basically a way of communicating when you don't have any internet for Google Translate and you don't know the language. Um, and you can try and, you know, communicate what you need from all the pages here. They have a lot of different pictures. So I think you could almost have a conversation with this thing. 
and we haven't used it very much but it might come in handy one day we've got a bunch of holders for GoPros or for the phone selfie stick things that we can quickly grab out and put the camera on and record with we've got spare batteries for the GoPros so we've got one here one battery pack here extra batteries here and uh, some cables to charge stuff because actually we've got a USB port here and so I can actually run a cable from there into the tank bag and that allows us to kind of keep charging everything on the go so we can actually ride continuously and keep all our GoPros, all our phones, everything charged along the way. So super useful. So we made some modifications to the tank bag. We added some little water carriers that we got from Decathlon and we bought these bottles and basically we can put one on this side and one on this side. So it's super easy for us to quickly access water. In this pocket at the front uh, is where I keep the vlogging kit, so the microphone and the stand that, are, that we're holding, that Lavi's holding right now. And we also have two little pouches that we've added on each side of the tank bag. And inside those is just a whole bunch of other useful things that we can quickly access, like some, some cooking knives, some pliers, some business cards for the channel so we can get more subscribers along the way. <laughs> some COVID masks. And on this side, we've got some little trinkets, like when uh, the guy in Morocco gave us this little fossil. Wow, thank you. Wow, look at that. And it's like one thing, look. Wow, just super cool. Some screwdrivers and some pens and some spare sunglasses and a lens cleaning cloth for all the GoPro lenses or for the glasses. And up at the front, we've got two amazingly useful things. The first is a little bar mount for a phone and we've got the case to go with it. This is from a company called Peak Designs and the phone just magnetically clicks onto there and it's totally locked on there. So basically to get it off, you have to pinch the back of it and then you can pull the phone back off so it won't fall off when you're riding. And that's if we want to navigate with uh, Google Maps or any other Maps Me or any offline maps. So our other navigation is the Garmin Zumo XT and this one attaches just above where the Peak Designs one attaches and uh, this one tracks our route and is able to do navigation as well so we've got a couple of options. This one here is the holder for our GoPro but like I said before we have a video on our whole filming and audio setup so you can check that one in the description if you're interested in that side of things. <music> I will show you now our bedroom. Our tent where we slept more than 500 nights in it. Still standing, a little bit broken here and there, but it still does the job very good. We have this amazing Kathmandu sleeping bags, which we can attach actually together that in cold nights we can cuddle and we can warm each other up a little bit. <laughs> We have this blow up pillows from Sea to Summit as well. Very, very cool. They're packed down really, really small, like this size. <laughs> and then our beloved sleeping mat from Sea to Summit, which packs down as well. Very, very small. And I love this sleeping mat. It's so comfortable, it's so nice. And here's our little sleeping bag, which has our Kindles, sleeping mask, and some earplugs. <laughs> so the last thing that we wanted to show you guys is actually something that we have just got from a company called Sysapp and it is this baby. It is a real-time security device and GPS tracker. So today I'm going to take you guys through the installation of the product and also the app that comes with it because everything that this does 
is controlled with uh, an app that you can install on the phone. So let's go install the app first. So first to install the app, we're just gonna go to the app store and search Sysapp and get. My face is on there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna go into the app. Sysapp, reliable trip mate. Allow notifications. So first you've got to put your phone number in. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so you sent a message to the phone and now we put the code in that's been texted to us and verify. So once we're in the app, the first thing we're going to do is add our Sysapp device that's actually going to be plugged into the bike. And that is done by entering the IMEI number. Cool, we're adding that one. So now that we've got the app installed, the next thing to do is to actually physically install the device on the bike, but that means we have to take all the gear off first. So we're gonna do that now. So the reason we had to do that is because we've got to actually connect this up to the battery, which is under the seat. So let's go and connect that up now. Aha! So unfortunately on this bike to access the battery properly, you can't just take up this half of the seat, but you have to actually take off this half of the seat as well, which means we have to grab some Allen keys. This little, uh, box behind the Givy rack is actually where we keep our tools as well which I forgot to mention before but this is just where we keep all of our uh, spanners and allen keys Aha! okay aha <laughs> you that's about as far as we can strip Bumblebee down alone without the help of a mechanic. Okay, now we've got to undo the battery terminals, being careful not to lose the nut on the underside of them. We should be able to just leave the nut in place. Okay. All right, we just need enough space for these two to go in and connect to the battery. So let's hook it up. So black to black, red to red. Cool, that's pretty tight. And the red side. Okay, so that's the battery hooked up. And now we've got to actually uh, attach the Sysapp to somewhere under the seat here. It's got an adhesive bit on the back. So we're just gonna pull that off and then we can just stick that nicely there. <laughs> cool, we've tidied up the wires. So we're just gonna tuck those in and then we can put the seat back on. Got to make sure that we put back our tools correctly so we can find them next time. Our uh, chain for the bike to lock it up to a tree or something, that's also kept in this toolbox, by the way. Aha! Installed! So we just got a notification on the phone to say that it has recognized that we've plugged it in and it's already connected up. So. What we've got to do, we've got to add our vehicle information in on the device. And basically, that's all you have to do to set it up. Once that's all entered, it will start doing what it's supposed to be doing. So let me tell you a little bit about what this Sysapp product actually does. So other than the basic GPS tracking, it is an amazing tool for all kinds of uses. We've got security. 
So this will actually tell you if the bike has been moved once you've parked up and left it, it's gonna send you a notification if that bike starts to get on the move somewhere. So it's got the GPS, but that also includes saving routes and you can share those routes with friends. So there's a whole community aspect behind this. And especially for us, that makes a lot of sense because for our Guinness World Record, we have to record every single ride that we're doing to be able to send it to them to basically prove that we have actually ridden around the world. So super useful for us, for the security aspect and for the GPS tracking. But on top of that, this device is also gonna record information about your ride. So it's gonna record the battery level, it's gonna record your riding behavior, if you get into accidents, crashes, your speed. So basically a lot of aspects of your ride that you can analyze later. And this is all contained within the app. So super easy to navigate through, super easy to use. And uh, I can't show you much more about it because we've literally just installed it, but we'll pick up on it on another episode where we'll actually uh, show you a little bit more about what it's actually recorded. But for now, that's the basic information about this product. We're super excited to get using it and get on the road. If you are interested in looking into this amazing device for yourself, head to sysapp.com. I will link it in the description. And if you end up ordering, there is a promo code Lavi and Oli, which will give you a 10% discount. So that's it from our gear video and motorbike tour. Yes, that's everything that we are taking with us around the world. Everything we need to survive and thrive on the road. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. Comments below. We will see you next time. The Garmin Zumo XT and that one clips on up here.